So today, um, as you can tell by the title, I, we wanted to do a video about insecurity and how we dealt with it, what happened to us as kids, and how we're dealing with it now. And if you guys have any ways of how you guys deal with insecurity um, that we didn't mention, um, we'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And with further ado, here we go. So growing up was, she used to bully me a lot, so that kind of affected, uh, uh, just, just a little, no, bigger, <laughs> um, but, but yeah, that kind of affected, um, me, and it made me mad to, like, the point where I, like, hated my image, like, outer image, and to the point where I didn't really like myself inside either, so for me, the cure for that was a lot of music, um, she used to listen to like the screamo well not like super screamo but like like flyleaf like to a point where it's like like in your face like if you do like this you and screaming <laughs> and um like screaming and anything with like an aggressive sound i really cling towards um mm -hmm. if i made music it would definitely have an aggressive sound just because of how it touched me but just keep going yeah so it's with a lot of aggressive stuff hearing that aggressiveness in the music i kind of like clung to it in a sense it had like righteous anger too it was it wasn't like it wasn't just like aggressiveness it was more like i'm sick of what you're doing to me i don't want this anymore it's kind of like breaking free it's not like yeah. sex drugs and all that stuff it has a good message behind it so yeah it's, it was really good to like hear music like that for like the first time um and also another thing that helped me settled down insecurities was draw like art drawing painting like anything that I can get my hands on that involved like creating something out of nothing I loved and um like m a little uh, cooking I guess because that's like taking whatever so yeah that's how I cured my insecurities to a point um I used to bully Hannah a lot um, a lot of my insecurities just came from my mom had of issues going on um, from stuff that happened in her childhood. It, it happened in that pivotal time where you're growing up and you're not knowing what to do and you're trying to fit in and there's all these questions that you have about life and fitting in and you know just stuff like that. I just didn't know what to do with myself I guess. And because of that, it gave me a lot of anger, and because I didn't know where to go, I didn't have, I felt like I didn't have a place to turn, and I took it out on Hannah a lot. Probably, like, more than I know I should have. <laughs> Seriously, we never got along until, like, two years ago. Um, we moved into another house, we live in the same bedroom, and we... Basically, our career is together, so yeah. we kind of bonded a lot through that. We're I mean, roommates. Yeah, seriously. It's sad to say, but it's because I hated myself so much for being so mean, and I knew what I was doing wasn't really who I was. Like, I was somebody else on the inside that I couldn't, like, make it to the outside. It would, like, stop, like, right here and then it would just like stop. Everything that came out of me was mean, destructive, it, I mean, it was rude, and I have nothing else to say besides that, and up until a couple years ago, my heart really started to change because I was like praying a lot, I didn't know where to go, I didn't know the purpose I had for my life, and I knew that I wasn't gonna be satisfied um being rude to people and being mean to people and i was like god if i really have a purpose for my life you need to change my heart because there's no way that i can change this crazy person that's coming out of me and i just started really like trying to change and lo and behold god changed me and it changed both of us it changed both of us insanely i mean i'm a completely different person than what i was when i was totally totally, totally. like totally 180 i was destructive there was nothing good that came out of me and 
And that was my insecurity. That's how I dealt with my insecurity was through anger because of me not feeling good about myself. So I made other people come down to my level to make me feel happy and it didn't work, obviously. But God changed me. He's the only person that could have done that and my life is forever credited to him. The way I dealt with it was music for sure. Um, my dad introduced me to this hard rock band when I was 10 called Flyleaf, as you heard in her thing. And my dad loves music and I grew up listening to music. I was surrounded by music my entire life and he's like Sarah you're really gonna like this band it's a hard rock Christian band I was like hard rock Christian band like all I knew was like Newsboys, Cutlass yeah. and like DC Talk Jars of Clay DC Talk was like the people <laughs> and they I found out about them after they broke up but they were still like my band you know <laughs> and I found out about Flyleaf and my dad's like, oh my gosh, Sarah, it's a girl singer. I was like, what? And then I turned on So Sick and I heard her scream and I was hooked. Like, it was so amazing and I would listen to the lyrics and it would like, it would talk about like people's hardships and how they dealt with things. I Can Feel You All Around Me was just like the best song I ever thought was like created. And it really, really changed my life. And I still listen to really aggressive music just because um, it gives me that feeling of like righteous anger. Like I'm really gonna take you on. Like, you know, I'm just, I'm still conquering stuff like that, but. Um, it's a process. It's a process and it can stop. Once you know that you are special, you are perfect and you were made for such a time as this. Once I really found that out and once my insecurities were gone, um, I was really able to like find out what I was like made to do and I really found happiness in the things that I do. Right now, me and Hannah play the guitar. Music is our life because it changed us and we want to help inspire people the way that we were inspired and um, yeah so that's what we do and we're work we work really hard to make music and do all that stuff. And, um, find what helps you and find what makes you happy because there is no such thing as insecurity mm -hmm. in loving something. If you love something there should be absolutely no insecurity involved and it should make you feel um, like you're meant for something and you're meant to do something and once you find something that you really love it really helps the insecurity because you're content with who you are. Um, I, f I found that once I found out what I was going to be do going to like do with my life a lot of the insecurity went away because I was like I knew what my life was all about and I didn't know exactly what was going to happen but I knew that I had a purpose to you know, be able, I had a purpose to fulfill in life before I'm gone, and that's exactly what I have to say, but do not give up, because there were so many times we wanted to give up, and we would never be here sitting next talking to each other, to yeah, talking <laughs> to you or sitting next to each other yeah. if we'd never um, believe. Give this video a thumbs up if you deal with insecurities and if you have or if you have conquered insecurities um we'd like to know what some of your guys's insecurities are um i know some are a lot worse than ours but um we'd really like to know we really like to know what people do with out there so we love you guys we will see you guys later bye, bye.